Hey church, uh, praying you're having a great day. Uh, I just want to speak to you out out of a thought from Mark uh, chapter 4, verse 35 to 39. It says, That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There was also other boats with them, and a furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up and rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. You know, at the moment, there's no denying that in the world we're in, we're in the middle of a storm. And uh, it can feel like our lives are at the mercy of the wind and the waves. You know, it's, it's out of our control. And at any given moment, it can feel like, uh, you know, our little boat could be swamped by the next wave. But the disciples, they were actually freaking out. They were like, we're going to die here. And it appeared to them that Jesus didn't even care. And the fact is, he was asleep. Uh, he appeared to be either unaware or at least unconcerned about their situation. But I want to say to you that the reason Jesus was asleep in the boat wasn't because he wasn't concerned. It was because of the eight little words that he said before they even set foot in that boat. Jesus said, let us go over to the other side. You see, Jesus understood the power and the authority that were in his words. He knew that the moment he said, we're going to the other side, that the destination was assured. It didn't matter what happened in between him saying those words and getting to the other side. He knew they were going to get there. That's why he, was, he wasn't worried. Let me tell you that God's plan for you this year hasn't changed. He hasn't been caught off guard by the storm that we find ourselves in. He isn't looking for the life raft. He isn't looking for, for plan B right now. No, whatever the word God spoke into your life, That is still the assured destination that God has for you. He's still bringing that to pass. That is still our assured destination. It might seem like we're in the middle of a storm right now, but Jesus is not uncaring. He's not unaware. He just knows the power and the authority that is in the word that he spoke over our lives. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you that we can hold firm to your word. Everything else may shift. Everything else may change, Father God. We may find ourselves in a storm, Father, but we can hold on to your word. I thank you that your word never returns void, but it always accomplishes the thing that it set out to achieve. Father, I ask that we would constantly remind ourselves of the word that you've spoken. We'd hold on to it tight. We wouldn't let it go, Father God. And I thank you that as we do that, we can stand firm, Father God. Dear Lord, in faith, knowing that you're going to bring to pass the very thing that you've spoken. And we declare that over our lives, the dreams, the desires that you've given us. We thank you for them. And we give you praise in advance, for we know they're going to come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen.